what's up guys welcome to day I don't know what number this is the engine build I've set it back up after yesterday pushed the car out a little bit and it's nice and well it's not nice and early but it's early enough that no one's here and I can actually get on with this myself a little bit all my tools are everywhere which I'm slightly pissed off about so not the best start of the day for me, um, but I'm just going to try crack on with it and try and get this done as soon as possible. But do it properly is my main thing. All I want is to do this properly. I can't rush it too much because, yeah, there's no point in even doing it if you're just going to rush it and make it rubbish. Just got the crank in. Uh, I've only just pressed these down, but it's spinning nice and freely. I'm going to be talking these down in a sec with these. I've got the Haynes manual here, checking everything. Here's got torque rating. Everything's coming along slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. I'm, what I'm hoping and I'm worried about is that I've gapped those rings properly because I've never gapped rings before. Crank is fully torqued down. Still moves nice and freely. Got a bit of in-float there. Now I'm going to be popping these on. Uh, need to make sure the rings are gapped correctly, as in in terms of um, sorry, clocked and like rotated correctly. Um, need to figure out the torque ratings for these. I did have a piece of paper, but I need to find the piece of paper basically. And yeah. I have got this, which is an 84 mil ARP piston ring compressor, and again, this is just tapered, so this just goes over the top, piston goes down, and I'm using a little hammer there, just knock it in. Uh, make sure everything is very lubricated, except uh, between the caps and the shells, it needs to be completely dry and clean. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to do each one separately, lay it in, put the caps on, put these on, make sure the caps here they've got a number. Trust me there's a number there, it's very faint, but the number matches up with the number there. So those need to go in the right way. Mike's just turned I up. Arrive. So I've just oiled the inside of all the cylinder walls. I've got the first piston in, second piston, just making sure the ring gaps line up, making sure that the bigger gap is over the intake side because the intake valves are bigger, making sure everything's lined up, even the oil rings are lined up. Tell them, Dale. So we had a little problem with the oil spray tubes and they were slightly contacting the piston because of the angle. So. We basically just bent it like that, out of the way. And it turns over freely now, so it's fixed in my eyes. Just finished up talking the oil pump. This is a uh, oil pump with billet gears from 949 Racing. So I popped that on there now. Sealanted it up real nice like this one. Now, the engine is turning over nice, oil pumps in. This has to be sealant, sealanted. Um, half moon gaskets and then sump on. But first, we have to do the oil pickup and the like baffle plate that sits here. So let's do that. And Billy's turned up, where are we? Billy! He's gone. Yes. <laughs> Wave! He has a roast dinner in a Tupperware. <laughs> What have you got? What meats you got? That's the question. I got gammon with a bit of gravy, but it's cold. I like cold stuff. I'm weird. Thank you. Oh, leave me alone. We've we've done some things. <laughs> yeah. Things. Things. Things have happened and stuff. Oil pump is on. Sump is on. Uh, yeah. We we completely covered it in sealant, just <laughs> just because I got scared because I didn't want any leaks. So I'm just gonna seal all this up. 
Um, yeah, basically, we, I went a bit OTT on the sealant, on the, and it's just, yeah. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then we are going to put the water pump on, the head on, and then paint it all uh, with cylinder black, and basically black everything, and miss, miss all the gaskets, hopefully. Mainly, mainly like these are the gasket surfaces I'm worried about. Um, that's going to be covered up. Yeah, probably won't go too into depth here because that's covered by the uh, harmonic dampener. Mm. And covers as well, isn't it? We have put the head on. She has head. She's given head. She has. <laughs> the engine has got a head on it. The engine got head. Yeah. The engine's been getting a bare head. So hopefully this all goes well. I'm just very worried. Like I've never, never I've done my own engine, like my money. <laughs> <laughs> Shit goes wrong. Well. It's, yeah, it's all out of my pocket. I say we just blame Connor. So, Mike is pretending to read, he's not actually reading. Um, you know to tell him. I mean, if you can see, he can't actually read. What, that, actually what does that word say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, that's his penis. One, five, that's the section I want to be on. Three, yep. exactly. Tell them the issue. I had accidentally um change the caps from the other engine to this engine and i wasn't looking at it too hard and i wasn't too worried about mixing them up because uh they're same head same engine everything like that i thought it'd just work but it didn't that was a good start That was right on that taking, as well. Taking a bit of skin off there. Um, right on that. That little bastard just there. Okay guys, so we are going home for today. I've just popped the cam cover on to uh, protect, like so rubbish doesn't get in here overnight. Um, I think it looks flipping awesome. There's no gasket or anything. I just, I've literally just rested it on, but looks pretty, looks pretty beast. Packing up now. Uh, Mike gave, got me my engine crane back, so we're popping that in here. Um, they're gonna have to move this and that. Gonna, side, yeah. This is gonna go. Yeah. That. Right, yeah, put it on there. But you can put it together. Go like and subscribe the video now. <laughs> you look like a robot. Why are you licking your lip? <laughs> You tell him what to do. Go like the video because it's sick. Go subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below because you're awesome. That's bullshit. That's my and job. we shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.